All right, guys, this episode is brought to you by Major Beauty. Your girl is about to hook you up because y'all know how I do my lashes all the time. And Major Beauty is going to offer $20 off your initial full set of lashes. And the first six months, you can also use this promo code HER20 and you can get $20 off your membership because she does offer membership services. So she not only does eyelashes, she also does permanent makeup, those new henna eyebrows. If you're not ready to go full force on the tattooing of the eyebrows, you can try them out by getting this henna stuff done. I haven't tried it because y'all know I got microbladed eyebrows, but I do use Kiana for my lashes. She is my new lash tech. Um, I'm loving her. She's great. And she's super duper professional. And you're going to love her little uh, studio. So check her out, The Major Beauty. Make sure you use promo code HER20 to get a discount off your full set and your membership for the next six months, guys. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Her Lounge podcast. Y'all, y'all been asking and... She's here. The hooker has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm up in this bitch. Oh my god. It's immediately more ratchet when Marissa's here. <laughs> That's how everybody likes it. You know, a little mix of politics and ratchetness. Yeah, ratchetness, yeah. If it's just Sol and I, we're like trying to get into like deep fucking issues about our childhood traumas. When oh Marissa's here, it's like, fuck all that shit. Who cares? We are all traumatized, y'all. I'm sorry. Speak for we yourself. Are. Speak for yourself. Mm. Like your cleaning obsession, I need to know where that comes from. Where did that? Me too. We, we had to clean to... all the time. Do you guys clean as you go when you have events at home? Like when yes. the dishes get like dirty, people you come start... over. Yes, yeah. And I, I was doing to... that yesterday Pete all day. Doesn't, oh, Pete doesn't understand. Like, uh, for example, he's like. We had to clean up, you know. I mean, we clean. I like to clean up every night. Yeah. I don't want to wake up and have my coffee. And then I'm looking at this. Because it is a pain in the ass to clean dishes in the morning. morning. It is. In the morning, it sucks. If the dishwasher's already full, then whatever's left is just left. But there's nights where it's just like, I don't think I can stand anymore. Like, I'm done. The people in your house? (laughs) No, just just from being up all day and doing stuff. Yeah, I feel you. Like, it gets to the point where I'm like, I feel my knees are going to give out. So whatever's there in the kitchen. But don't you, and then in the morning when you wake up, don't you feel like... I know I, I hate it. Done this in the, I should have done this last yeah. night. I should have just sucked it up. I was tired. And it or, or you step on something and you're like <laughs> <laughs> These two kids. If Rome stubs a toe, he kicks the chair. I'm like <laughs> It has no life in it. <laughs> it did nothing to you. Nothing. Well, it did until he kicked it. My God. Oh, Extra. My God. Anyway. Oh, yeah. What's um, the name quote of the day? Yeah. <laughs> Before we get into it. Uh, all right. So this is just, uh, I know we're towards the end of the year. If you mm. think about it, it's fucking scary. Damn. Bro. That's what I said. It's Labor Day today, guys. It's I know. Se- it's September 5th. We came which in. y'all didn't even know. I should just go ahead and plug in my Christmas tree because it's already I, mean, I no. said that. <laughs> I said that over the weekend. <laughs> no, really. That's exactly what should it's happen. It's already there. It's been there all year. for October. Like decorated for October, like fall. What, your October tree? No, well, but you know how there's uh, there's little mini trees that you can buy. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And uh, you can, they're like seasonal trees. So it could be for February or, and I don't know, like teachers sometimes do that. Well, back in our... Back in the days, teachers, regular teachers, would have, normal regular, teachers yeah, used to do that. Would have that. Um, um, and, and I did that for a little bit, but mine was metal. I forgot what brand it is. They usually have it at that Nutcracker thing that comes oh, into the town, market. Mm-hmm. the market, and they'll sell a little magnet. Uh, there, so that's why it was easier for me because it was metal. Mm-hmm. So then you just decorate it with metal, uh, with these magnet uh, decor oh, things, shit. and it looks cute. So yeah. I had that for a while. I forgot who I gave that to because. He was like, we cannot have, I, I have bins and bins. Of Halloween shit. Of Halloween shit and fall and Christmas. And Christmas. Christmas. I love Christmas. Oh, I love Christmas. Christmas is the Christmas. best. It's so chic, Christmas. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Uh, I have so many, which that's why Peer Space is going to be perfect because oh I have God. all that's the decor. Your, like, that's, that's good. That's going to be another way that you get to express yes, your creativity. Sure. Yeah, because yeah. okay, she goes go, to Hobby go. Lobby one more time, Chingo's going to lose it. Huh? If, if you go to Hobby Lobby one oh, more yeah, time, he's, yeah, he's he going to can't stand it. Yeah, he's gonna lose when it. he knows I have to go there, he's just like I can see like sweat just trying to come down his face. But anyway, four fifty seven. Yeah, it's I Damn. That before there. I'm not joking. I have. What are you tithing to the church? 
I mean, they are Christians. I know that I said it. <laughs> Basically. Um, all right, guys. So here's your daily, repeat it all the time type of reminder. Um, I will remain focused on my goals. Even if I have a moment of difficulty, I will not give up. I know success, c- success comes with the consistency. I know that I will make. Uh, things will get better. No problem or challenge will stop me. Everything I deserve is coming my way. All right. Right? It's Amen. towards the end of the year. I don't know. Like, it starts to get a little like, oh, boy. Did I achieve? Did I not achieve? I know you start doing inventory. Inventory, like, yeah. Hmm. What did I do? Like, how how did that go? We're type already of thing. doing our resolutions. Not resolutions. I'm kind of more like I had uh, I had made a, a board. <laughs> So that it could remind me every Did time I, I went into my restroom. Did I anything on that board that I made? I actually have only... Ish. <laughs> I, we did. So we were wanting to get a house. That's been accomplished. We were trying to turn this into a studio. That's yeah, halfway been accomplished because it's not complete, but it's halfway. So that thing is kind of on there. So it, it has a half. It's funny. I have a half on it. Good. And then I've said whenever it was done, I'm going to just put a check mark. And then that way I know it feels good. And then I'm going to put a peer space uh, symbol on there. And then I'll make that. Like yeah. I have a deadline for that. And I just haven't put a, a little piece of paper with the peer space logo up on my board. So that has to be done by for me by September 15th. Which is right the around the corner. Huh? That's I know. like next week. Oh, yeah. Is it next two week? Weeks. Two weeks. Two okay. Weeks. Yeah. Ten days. Ten days. We have to paint the front. Oh, girl, it's gonna get done. It's and, gonna get um, done. And to finish the kitchen, yep. the tiles and all that. So, and I just love the make optimism. sure that there is hot coffee up in this. Bitch. All day. I, I just told it. him. I said I need to stop with the caffeine. Oh, you were saying that before, right Why? when the doorbell rang. What what? What? I just. I feel like I'm always on it. Like I I'm, I always all have on it drugs. all day. Every I mean, day. all day. It's, it's just like drugs. crazy. Whoever said like get high on life didn't have a busy life. Yeah, you, <laughs> you know? know what I mean. I mean, damn. Like seriously, it, it was. It's one of those things. Um, I wanted to say something real quick. Um, so I posted. Speaking about teachers, mm. I posted the video that was circulating and went viral oh. about the teacher saying that don't call them. Um, pedophiles call the map. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I never yeah. got to see that video. Okay, so oh. I reposted it right, and I just said this in your teacher, story in my story, okay. and, and it said teacher, this teacher shouldn't be teaching anymore. Well, one of my followers was nice enough to send me, y'all. I swear it looks real. I look really big if you're watching this, but I'm not this big because I see myself, <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, it's like this loose ass dress. You want a pillow? No, nah, you're good. <laughs> um. So I should have put a belt on it. Anyway, um, so this one of my followers sends me the actual, I guess, report, right? Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. it's because I guess they, they made it a big deal. Evidently, this teacher was having a conversation with her students. She was being sarcastic. Like, you can't <clears throat> call them pedophiles anymore. You got to call them map or whatever. They're, mm-hmm. what is yeah, maps. Map, right? Minor okay. attracted persons. And so the person recording was another little fucker in class. Basically, just I guess trying to get yeah, taking it out. Of I don't know, you know, yeah. and trying to post it, and it went viral. Exactly what he wanted, yeah, or he or she. I don't really know who it. What it they they it. And so the the whole story is there. The poor teacher has now been suspended until further investigation because she gets along with her students. I picture a young teacher, <clears throat> although her voice didn't sound like a very young teacher, mm-hmm. but I picture a young teacher now like having a combo with their students and be like. Y'all can't call, you know, like something yeah, like that. Just, and then you know. and then some little fucker in my class now record me without. And, and the funny thing is that the recording was towards a paper so that I guess he wouldn't make it obvious that he was recording. And so it was just kind of facing down is strictly audio. But you just saw like a piece of paper in the video. And uh, he and he was like, and the reason I say he is because when the uh, when she said, you can't call them, you can't call them. They have to call them maps and whatever. And he's like what and so that's where i get the he because it sounded like a he sounded like a guy and he was like oh what did y'all hear that and so obviously him saying that doesn't seem like it's a fake video Mm -hmm. yeah because you think like oh she's recording the teacher the teachers are proving this and now and i was like oh my god when i got that when she sent me the the whole whole report and the thing and i was like yeah i'm gonna have to remove this right now and i'm gonna just be the honest person and post 
the real deal stuff yeah. that's happening yeah. mm-hmm. because I'm human and mm-hmm. I make mistakes and yeah. I just fell into the trap of reposting shit that you can't you believe everything you say on yeah. the internet, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and I was so mad at myself because I never, I hardly repost things. Usually it's breastfeeding, a boob hanging out. Yeah. I've been told by a guy like that he comes to a my- A boob hanging out? No, he, he comes really, just for that. He, he comes to your story exactly, for the boobs. He told me that. He put LOL. <laughs> he goes, I just come to, he goes, I just come to your stories to see if there's any boobs for today. And I was Giovanni, like, stop it. All right? I love it. Stop it, Giovanni. <laughs> Let me find out it was Giovanni. I was like, oh my God. I, I couldn't stop laughing, but then again, I was like, this is creepy. You really just come on my fucking story to see if I would boob today. You guys ever seen Office Space? Oh God, I love yeah. Office yeah. Space. Where his neighbor is like, yo, they're showing the boob channel yeah, yeah, on PBS yeah. again or the breast exams. But my point to that is, is like, these little fucking kids will do anything now. Yeah. To Isn't just that some, crazy? To get some recognition. Marissa, if you got caught doing that, let's just think about it. Like, even just, if you even go further than that, it'd probably get worse, right? But let's just talk about recent, like our mm-hmm, time, mm-hmm. right? If if you if so if you got caught doing some shit like that, you'd be in big trouble. Yes, you would be in big fucking trouble. Big trouble. And you couldn't even take phones into you the classroom. Anyway. Well, I don't need. In high school, our phones weren't even that good. I mean, yeah, our razors shit and shit. We yeah. had like Nokia's. Yeah. I mean, I could use the shit out of the three hundred four on the pager. But other than that, <laughs> that was four. it. I don't know what that is. Ho, Ho upside, upside down. down. <laughs> <laughs> Ratchet asses. Okay, my code was 705 because it's so oh, upside oh, down. Oh, I like that. So mine was so five. Stop like it. it. That's how you knew who was calling you because back then you didn't know who was calling you. So you had yeah. to come right. up you with your to, own number yep. or your code so they knew who it was. The 30 or six, versus nine 40 if it was club. Your boo. You know, huh? 6 9 if it was your boo. <laughs> you know? Ooh, damn. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's what she replies back. Oops. <laughs> Woo, but anyway. But I was thinking about that. I was like, these little fuckers will do anything for some attention. I know. I'm like, and they're just really just, it just posted this video and yeah. it went viral. I mean, a lot of big right wing publications were posting it. Yeah. I sent it to Lexit. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie. I said, hey, you just posted this and, you know, so it's confirmed that it was just all like... It's not confirmed. So this is from the school district, what they sent me, that the teacher was under investigation. She's not been... Co- I'm going to actually tell you exactly what it because is. Because when I saw... I saw it too, right? Mm-hmm. I don't think I reposted it anywhere. I didn't even... Yeah, I didn't even put it on the What They Said page or anything. But when... Like kids are so... Like teachers want kids to be so cool with them these days that they'll convince the kid to like, hey, I need you to go along with this and say that it was a joke for the class. Yeah. And otherwise, uh, you're going to lose me as a teacher and I'm going to lose my job. And we're going to have a problem here. Yeah, I could see that happening, like the teacher coercing the kid. Because, <clears throat> or it could have just been taken out of context because you only got a certain clipping of it. Yeah, and that's exactly what happened. You got to use for the most part. You got to see the whole fucking thing to know. You know, not in today's world. We don't, yeah, we don't no, care about the full no video. One cares about we just the want whole. the Andrew Tate clips so we can cancel But it's them. okay for us to not know, but when you've got social media platforms that this is their job to verify before they post, like. Come on, man. Do your fucking job. So this is is Franklin High School announcement. It says, Dear Franklin parents, the El Paso Independent School District has been made aware of a classroom situation which has prompted an investigation. Any report of possible misconduct is investigated thoroughly and taken seriously. Since this is a a personal matter, no further further information can be shared at this time. However, please rest assured that the safety and security of your child is our top priority. And so, um, so then it was like, nah, I have some, this is a kid, the kid. Nah, I have the teacher for English three. She was doing an introduction to the crucible. A book we'll be reading later on. And it was a PowerPoint of a political question that we had to answer with agree or disagree, disagree, (laughs) disagree. Then once we went through, we discussed as a class, one of the questions was about dating an older person or a younger person. For example, aiding, dating, 20. In my class, there was no way it got out of, it got out of, it got out or proportion. I don't, sorry, this kid just didn't, (laughs) it basically didn't get out of, taken out of proportion. Anyway, which I don't really, that doesn't make sense either, but she is a good teacher and was just trying to debate with the class as have, as have other teachers. So this was a kid in the class. Oh, well, she posed the the question or the statement 
for so, the sake of the debate that they were going to prepare for. Right. And it, it was to a, have the this question was, should you date? Is it OK to date a younger person? Does that make okay. sense? All right. Like if you're like like the example she the kid gave was if you're 80 dating someone that's 20. Yeah. Is that OK? Yeah. And so that's where the conversation started. But the funny thing is, is that parents on here, they were like, um, um, the parents that were on here were like, why was that even in that conversation in the classroom? Like, there shouldn't be a conversation. But again, we don't know the entirety of but the if story. It was, it was what, what grade are they in? I don't know. But if you're doing the crucible, what grade were we in? I when mean, we did the you're crucible? thinking that they're at least the eighth crucible? grade, ninth grade, something like I that. I think it's I actually I think it's ninth when I read the crucible. If it's for the purpose of discussion, sometimes you are going to talk about things that. You and know. I can now see where that went to a pedophile conversation. Mm-hmm. Because do it started with, with, do y'all think, think that, it's okay to date someone that's, you know, 20 if you're 80 years old? And it's okay. Naturally, you would kind of go yeah. that direction. No, that's a pedophile. And then, yeah. and then the teacher maybe sarcastically saying, y'all, mm. don't call them pedophile. They're called maps yeah. now. You yeah. know, can you yeah. see that happening? I can. Yeah. I can, except most adults don't know what maps are. I don't expect high school students to know what maps are. Well, maybe it's something that they discussed. It's all over the TikTok stuff, maybe, though. Yeah, maybe Is it's it? something that's already, yeah. that's already come up. But those are my favorite classes. What? Whenever it would be like, okay, we're going to have a topic and then yeah, everybody discuss, join in the conversation uh, sure, and yeah. debate. Like, I miss those. Yeah, but classes. I just, you know, I was like, damn it. I got caught in this little, I love stuff this like little that. mess. And now, you know, I was like, that's what you get, you know? Yeah. I, but I was in shock. And now I, rep- the thing is, there was that wasn't the first time I saw the video. Someone DM'd it to me and all I said Wow, that's fucking gross. That's all I replied, right? Yeah. Then I saw it on another political page, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Fucking hey, man, this this is really I I can't wait to see what happens to this teacher, right?" And then I see it again on another. I was like, okay, I'm gonna repost it now. You know what I'm saying? Like, it seems pretty legit. It's been it's continuously being yeah. reposted yeah. by <laughs> legit, yeah, you know, accounts, you know, verified accounts. On yeah. top of that, you know, so I was like, for sure, it's real. I think even Benny Johnson, I think, reposted it, too. So I was like, I mean, he's got to be, has got to have fact checkers because. Well, until we get like the full facts, like it it could still be like they're covering their asses because James O'Keefe and Project Veritas had that story of the teacher. Did you see that? Uh, I I saw that you sent us the clip. I didn't finish watching it because it was kind of hard to understand that man talking. Because they're in a restaurant. You know how they do the undercover stuff? They're in a kind of loudish place. But she's like the coordinator for like activities at some Catholic private school, like some uppity school in Connecticut, maybe Pennsylvania, (laughs) wherever it was. And she was making comments like, we basically need like a Dexter type and give him like the the people that we need him to take out. It's all like the Catholics. Like they don't hire Catholics at the school. And it's just like very, very anti this particular group. And we should like eliminate them. And they caught her like on camera. And then the school would basically, they were, uh, their comments were almost like, we're sorry that this got out. Not we're sorry that this <laughs> is what we do. Literally. Like, so they're just trying to cover their ass. Damn shame. Yeah. So that they, 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 but say- they know that people have a very short memory. True. Two days later, out it's of the, done. It's out. It's out it's of the true. cycle. Yeah. You know, um, you know, crisis control for a couple yep. days, and that's it. Their email and with the, everything. Their email to the staff was literally, uh, be very careful who you talk to out there outside of work and what you say because this, that, and the other. Nothing about apologies or you know, whatever, whatever. It was just like, damn, it got out. None of that. We got no. busted. Yeah, we just got busted. <laughs> fucking Project Bear Talk did it again like fucking <laughs> Scooby-Doo. Busted and disgusted. Hey, hey, we're not talking about your past. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> honey. Marissa. What? Going back to the OnlyFans. Is it fans only or OnlyFans? Only it's OnlyFans. Only fans. When are we going to do it? Yo. Did y'all see how much Cardi B made on OnlyFans? For I didn't what? know she was on OnlyFans. What did she, she put on oh, there? She puts personal shit and she goes live and ha- has like one-on-one Q&As with her like members, her fans. Oh, yeah. Okay. And so she'll like show you updates about her kids because you know if you don't ever really ever see her posts like her kids yeah, or yeah. like it's very minimal if uh-huh. you know if you follow her she'll post like her kids every once in a while you don't really see them on there so this is like an opportunity for you to have like a one-on-one yeah, with yeah. her and i was like is this going to be the new youtube right mm. but for people who want to have that almost like that, that one-on-one personal, personal experience thing. but yep. if she feels like it she could show her balloon knot if she wants to 
does she I don't show think she things does or from what is she for? I don't what know. Is she no, it for? literally, she does like vlogs on there. Okay, like for her fans. This is my <laughs> sister's telling me this because she was like, "Hey," because she's she said, "Hey, have you ever thought about doing an OnlyFans?" And I wrote back like. I did one of those gifts, like what you know, and then I thought she, I thought she had seen the clip of us, uh-huh. so I thought she was being sarcastic. She goes, look how, and she sent me the article, I guess, or the thing that she saw where it said Cardi B made one point something million off of OnlyFans. Damn, that is a little her, her little side hustle that I guess she uses that that's money just for fun. I think that's to donate, so she got it for tax mm. purpose. Mm. I think that's oh, her. That's perfect. That's her donating. Here you go, money. Yeah. You know, you know that Cash Me Outside girl. What's her name? Bad. Baby, bad. yeah. How Stop much it. is she making? Fifty like million. Day? She's made fifty million so far in like the last year. What does she do on there? Is I she think nasty? she's showing it. She's just scandalous. Yeah. Oh, she's scandalous on there. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I was like, really? I said, I thought that was only for like nasty shit. She goes, mm. she's not using it for that. Yeah. Or she goes, and if she is, I guess we won't know. She goes, because we're not fans on there. Yeah. She's like, but it says that she. Um, the article was saying, um, the artist connects with her fans. Um, that's how it was supposed to be originally, and then the oh, strippers it took it over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like DJ Khaled has an so OnlyFans. Like, oh, yeah, I had no idea. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. how it started originally. Yeah, yeah. It was supposed to be another platform for like premium content to pay to connect with only like fans. yeah, that with OnlyFans. Yeah. yeah, okay, got it. Kind of okay. like what Patreon essentially is, you know. But they, I think you can actually make it not safe for work and put like X-rated kind of content on there, okay. but you have to market as that. Okay, all right, got it. Well, yeah. she's making money on there. Mm, so Marissa, well, you might need let me only know. Fans. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get this started. Boats and hoes. <laughs> Boats. Boats Girl, and hose. if we do it ASMR and have microphones by our fucking feet, we are going to make a motherfucking killing. <laughs> And I, you know what's the, the <laughs> nastiest part? Do you want to know what the nasty part is? Is that I... I feel it in my heart that it would make money. Boo, if me and you are both, if me and you are both doing our feet like this with motherfucking cream and a damn cucumber, and we're just fucking with what the if cucumber. Y'all, what if y'all made some wine like in the old days? Get some grapes Whoa, in there. That that sounds sounds so like you're actually fun. making a product out of it too. Like if you want to buy the wine when we're done with this, you can also buy the wine. <laughs> Rob, I like That's how you think it. <laughs> If, if girls could sell their bath we water, need to do it in if, this damn yo, studio. If girls can sell their bath water, that one girl did. Ew, really? Yes. Some bitch sold her fart. I don't and know. And her how fart, yeah, fart, fart in a jar. Okay, yeah. Hold on. This, Might this, her, 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 look at her wheels turning. She's like, I'll do all those. I'll do the wand with my feet, I'll fart in a fucking jar, <laughs> and I'll sell my bath water. Just give me some goddamn money. <laughs> I Hold don't up. work anymore. Oh Important question Is it fart or fort? I thought it was fart. It's fart. No, more importantly, is it shart or shard? Oh, I think it's shart with a T. With a T. With a T. Because it's lo- part of... Sh- for the longest time, I said shard. And until somebody... I think Don might have commented. Like, what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> yeah, because it's shard. It, what, did you shit. cut your asshole? Because like, it's shit and fart together. Yeah. I know, but I just thought it for... It's like the Mandela effect. <laughs> I thought it was shard. She's like, what, did you cut your asshole? Like, why is it shard? <laughs> Like, all right, you might you got right. shards of glass oh in your ass. God. That guy that sat on that mason jar does. Remember I that? Bet whoever comes to oh, my. Oh, I heard of that. <laughs> you ever seen that video? There's I didn't this... see it, but I heard. Oh my god! What happened? There's a guy. This viral. This video went viral <gasps> years ago. Five, probably five to ten years ago. He he must have been bored in his house. Must have been like preparing for a pandemic. He was bored in his house. Gets a mason jar, puts it on the ground, and then just sits on it with his open asshole. The jar then busts when it's almost all the way in him, busts. and he just shards of bloody glass are coming out of him. Why? Because <laughs> we're fucked up. What is wrong with us? If you can think of it, it's on the internet somewhere. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. So sickening, y'all. It's fucking. You sickening. weren't familiar with that? I no. Clue. I'm glad you didn't find out. I'm glad now. I didn't know. Uh, what's the horse one, Mister Hands? Which Do you remember? Is it, uh, oh, the guy that died when he got fucked yep, by a horse. Yep. Have you seen that one, Saul? Ew! What? It so, rammed in his body all the way. Yeah. So I mean, bestiality no is real, man. People have sex with animals. I mean, I know that it's real, but that's disgusting. Yeah, it's probably as long as your microphone stand right there. No, uh, have you ever? I mean, a horse's. <sighs> Oh yeah, yeah. Dong it's as long as his leg. Yeah. It's as long he as his leg. He shoved it in his fucking body. Yeah. I didn't know what he expected. You I don't go to his booty hole. So somebody, so Boo, the guys, it went past. It just it ruined his insides. He died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a viral. I think it's called Mr. Hands. I, mean, I, I might can't be wrong. Remember. It's like you know, Mr. Ed, Mr. Hands. I don't know. Sickening. But um, so the some guy, somebody's like guiding it in his fucking rear, and it's like slowly going in there, and all of a sudden the horse just jams it up there, <sighs> and the, you can hear the guy just screaming in pain because he's dying, and that's what you find on the internet when you're a young kid. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's why my kids will not have the internet. This is why I don't want Isaiah on the fucking internet. Well, yes, because here's the thing. Uh, Penny's like, can we make a TikTok? I said, a who? And she said, a TikTok. That's how that she tic- said, a who? That's why that TikTok <laughs> came about the other day that we made. Uh huh. And that was so cute. And I said, where are you watching TikTok? At first I thought you were a drag queen, but then I said, hold on, that's I Ursula. <laughs> <laughs> I said, where did you, how did you see TikTok? She goes, oh, the YouTubers. So check this out. These little YouTubers are geniuses. I was watching them. I was like, I said, like, man, we're so behind. They basically show these kids, because they're the same age. Um, they're behind the scenes of making, that's what they made a video of making the TikTok. Okay. Mm. So she's watching the behind the scenes. Yeah, of them making the video. And then finally at the end, they show you the final product. Okay. And then they tell you to go follow them on, mm. okay. follow on TikTok. Okay. Mm. You know? So I was like, genius little fuckers. I'm like, Bitches. that's why they have all this money and in their house. For absolutely and nothing. Hey, and, and now the parents are living it up because of these damn kids. And I'm just looking at my kid like, why can I get myself to make her do this? I can't. I just, I would feel I feel so bad. That'd be bad it. parenting. But she loves it. She wants. You don't to want do her it. to become part of the Illuminati. Yeah, right. I'm like, damn. She likes it though. She'll say, "Why can we make a video?" And I'm telling you, she's a little Pete laughs. It's like she's our little director. She'll yeah. tell you. Now you're gonna say blah blah blah, and I'm like, okay, mom, say it. And I'm like, okay, you know. And then it's my turn to talk. And then it's she runs her a turn. tight ship. Yeah. And then it's uh, right now. I told y'all she's going through this Wednesday thing, so she's Wednesday. And so I she, love that. So she comes up to you like this, and then she pops up. <laughs> Hi, mother. You know, I love she that. calls her mother. I love that. And I say, good morning, Wednesday. She goes, do you have my beat? <laughs> I said, you're Beatles. <laughs> what is a Beatle? And I said, she goes, I can't with her. And uh, she goes, my Beatles. And I wanted to know if she knew what a Beatle was yeah. because, you know, like, and then she goes, and my snakes. So I figured, okay, she does know what a Beatles are yeah. and she's okay. putting, you know, the snakes in there. But anyway, that's her thing right now. She's going through a Wednesday phase and uh, we have you to call her You need to show Wednesday. her the old one. I think they still I have did. them on yeah, AMC. No, they actually have something? it on, uh, you could buy it on, um, on Apple. Oh, they have okay, the old good. school one. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. So I showed it to her. And Those she are just, awesome. But she was wanting, I, I let her saw the tra- see the trailer and she was like, there's no color. This is weird. And so she yeah. didn't understand that. So we got in the conversation for the first time, guys, while she was in the tub about how there wasn't a tablet or a phone when I was growing up. So cool. And it blew her mind. So she asked me, what would I do? And I said, well, we played outside, we rode our bike, we yep. colored, we yep. played video games. She goes like, how? What kind of video games? And so I'm like trying to show her, I said, remember you play Mario Brothers? I said, that was one of the games that I grew up on, you know? And so she was like, oh. So then she kind of gets over it. She goes, so no tablet? Your mom didn't buy you one? And I was like, no, they, they didn't. They didn't have it. They didn't exist. Penny, you like, couldn't look at anything other than your miserable yeah, life. Yeah, I was like, they didn't have it. She goes why like she didn't get why there was no phones i said uh you know the pink phone that i have here yeah. she used to play with it mm-hmm. and i used to tell her that was a home phone it's a yeah. rotary dial phone so for she, i love yeah. that phone and so she didn't she didn't understand i couldn't find a pink one that's why i, paint, I spray painted it pink that's not gonna be in your studio <laughs> i want a pink one it needs one. to be in the little table like listen right in the i middle. know but um no we need the stand-up ones you would get at like walmart you would see mm-hmm. you put they a quarter sell them in. actually Do on they? amazon no actually um I saw it on, uh, what's the other thing that you would bid on? Uh, eBay. Oh, okay. You put it on the wall and it's that pretty, like the Barbie pink. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, do I do it? Do I do it? Do I don't do it? What do I do? Because I thought Girl, it would be kind of cool. It. Right? Girl, don't do it. Do it. <laughs> Donna um, says his fucking TikTok phrases all the time. Yeah. That's a funny one though. I like that one. It's a good um, sound. It's a good sound. It is. Uh, but anyway, I thought that was funny that we've had, had our first conversation about these yeah. things not being existent like whenever I was growing up. And so she found it really weird. She's really in this like really kind of curious phase right now. She's asking a lot of questions mm-hmm. and like, why does this happen? How does this work? Why doesn't that work? Or, you know, and so just her questions now are kind of interesting. Um, she won't eat her lunch at school, right? Because it's, I saw a picture of it and I probably wouldn't eat it either. So I was mm, like, mm, yeah, yeah. I just, so they were having, in the thing, it said no peanut butter sandwiches, right? Yeah. Because of the peanut allergy. Yeah. And I was like, well, what the fuck am I going to make her? Because that's what she eats, you know? So I thought, okay, well, boiled eggs. She does boiled eggs, you know? We always do salami crackers and cheese. 
You do? You can never go wrong with that. I'll have to do pepperoni because she doesn't do salami, but the okay. pepperonis she'd probably do. Mm-hmm. That's a yep. good idea. So, um, so I, when I went up there, the teacher's like, hey, I was kind of concerned because she didn't um, eat her lunch. She goes, but she did eat her snack. She's like, so, you know, I was like, well, I said, I want to pack her lunch. I said, but y'all say no peanut butter jelly sandwich and that's her jam, you know? And so she's like, you can bring it. I was like, I can, but it says on there, no peanut butter. She's like, no, kids with the allergies sit at their own table. Mm. <laughs> See, kids are losers over there. Can you believe so that? You know. They sit at yeah. their own table because they can't risk like anybody. It does, it, like, it can get on your I finger. I didn't know that like, it could even, even just a little air, tiny bit. Even in the air. Yeah, the air so, or the I didn't oils. know that. They get it on their lip or anything, and that's so it. They don't over. even want a little bit. So because they can't examine everyone's lunch, yeah. That's why they don't like for you to bring a lunch. That's why they provide lunch, mm. right? Is because they want to avoid that. So she's like, no, that's fine. She's like, if that's what she eats, she's like, they, they eat at another table. She goes, any kid with allergy, you know, any type of food allergy, yeah. they sit at their own table because we can't risk even like being a little close to each other. Yeah. And we don't know what the parent power, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, oh, okay, well, if that's the case. I guess they just don't want you to bring it just in case mm-hmm. some shit like mm-hmm. that happens, yeah. right? So then I'm flying back now from Chicago. So mm-hmm. shout out if you are listening, you're from Chicago. Thank you for coming out. Really uh, cool club. Very intimate. Just reminds me of old school, like Comedy Central. Yeah. Uh, not Comedy Central. Um, the Comedy Store yeah. feel. Um, just very, well, that Comedy Store is big. What's the one in New York? Um, cellar. The Cellar. Very much the Cellar. Big time. So um, just that feel and all the pictures of, you know, everyone that's been through there. So, you know, it was really a cool feeling. So if you came out, thank you. I was terrified to be in Chicago. How was it? So where they are located, it's an old town. It's called Old Town. And so it's gentrifying Mm -hmm. or it's gentrified, I guess, because we were we had breakfast at this thing called the Foxtrot. And it's like a fancy convenience store Ooh. but they have all the cool latest yeah salads and everything's healthy there and you know that whole feel like a very whole mm-hmm. foods but but to be honest with you it like i was like those would be good in a gentrified area mm-hmm. and that's kind of like that place over there downtown where the park shops is at it's on the first floor mm. it's it's kind of like a corner store but it's got like all the cheese and meats uh, and soups. That's kind of how this ooh, was. It's, it's really, it was By really the ballpark. Cool. Oh, okay. I've never seen it. I don't know what it's called. So but. I was like, I wonder if they're a, like a franchise. Cause yeah. I'd like, cause uh, you saw them kind of deliver the food. I was like, I wonder if they're a franchise. Cause I'd like to look into it because mm-hmm. it would be perfect in the Heights in this area, you know, or like even if you go now to like Edo or Second Ward, mm-hmm. a lot of people don't like for you to call it Edo. Really? Um, yeah, mm-hmm. they get offended because it's, it's Second Ward. Ward. Yeah, they grew up with it being hood. Second yeah. Ward. So don't call it that. Just like um, now, uh, it's called the Near North Side. No, it's Sawyer Where? Park. Oh yes, that's right. <laughs> Sawyer Park. <laughs> Sawyer Park. Park <laughs> get it together. <laughs> So the north side now, there's a whole section Bitch, that there. was first ward, ho, and yeah, it was crazy back yeah, then. Yeah, it's called, it's now being called, uh, well, when you look up... Uh, Sawyer Yards, right? Sawyer Yards, it's is what it, it's called. Is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. Sawyer Yards? Yeah. What did I say? Parker Yards? You said Sawyer Park. Oh, something, like, something, that, like, like, Sawyer, that. something yeah, park. like that. Something like that. Something It's something like that. I've known in the Sawyer Yards forever, six, seven years. Because there's like a big artsy district over there, isn't there? Mm-hmm. It, it, it's it been coming up slowly, but surely. But it, that one I feel has taken the longest. Because let me tell you why. Before we bought this this house right here, I looked over there because I wanted to be closer to my sister. There was this old house, same street where they lived on, but on the other end, mm-hmm. huge house, huge corner house, old school, very uh, heights feeling. Mm-hmm. It was going to require a shitload of work, but when it was going to be done, it was going to be amazing. Worth a million. And Worth a million. Oh, way more. Queen. Way more, no, probably. For sure. And I just thought to myself, do I want to take on this big ass project? Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because it was going to take a while. But as I walked around, even though I still didn't know what I know now about like real estate or whatever, and I'm still learning. It's not like yeah. I know this. But when I looked around, I didn't see enough high rises. I didn't see enough of anything to where I could say, if I'm willing to take take this risk, risk, because I know eventually 
when we bought here already where we lived in, in, in the other place, there was already too many, like there was a lot of, of like little shops and little stuff coming yeah. up where you could see, oh, there's going to be gentrification is going to happen yeah. pretty soon here, you know? Um, so anyway, so we're out there and I'm like, I'm not joking you. I'm scared as hell, right? Because I'm uh, look at, uh, you know, all the stuff you see on the internet about Chicago and mm -hmm. how they just come and attack you for no reason, right? And then Pete goes... I don't know why you're so scared. You do know that Houston already beat <laughs> Chicago. Yeah, right. Chicago That's true. and New York. Like, yeah. He's like, and we live and in the city. He's like, so, um, and I was like, Dude. are you serious? He's like, we totally beat them. My, Rome said something about. He lied. Oh, was it the mayor that was pissed off at Ed Young? <laughs> because he was saying that the no, name that he didn't is bad. Soul. I said to him that I didn't know that, but that the crime was out of control and the mayor got offended. He and it's said, like, "No, you know what's funny though? He said no names. Yeah, he said no names. Yep, no party, no names. No parties, no names. Right? And that's the funny pinky part. Up, Marissa, and pinky listen, up. so you uh, you in the congregation had to read between the lines, yep. right? Yeah. Yep. And so you kind of understood who he was talking about. And then this Sunday. What's understood ain't, ain't got to be said. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> hey, but this Sunday he goes, he brought back facts again. He's holding this oh, paper and oh. he goes, isn't it amazing? I can't. Pete does the best job at, mo at like mocking him. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. Now, he, he's like, isn't it amazing that they can get so offended? Mm. They. Offense is the devil's <laughs> bait, bitch. Hey, they can Read get the so Bible. offended at reading facts mm. he's like these are he's like these are numbers that they posted he didn't make them how's he gonna get where's he gonna get those numbers from yeah. he didn't just <laughs> hey just church up. Hey, imagine if he just yeah. made numbers hey up? church can everybody just come up with a number for crime number. um i don't know let's just make it up a little bit here and there can you imagine that so he's like they're mad because i read directly they're from, from their, their website, website. <laughs> exactly God he was so it. It, and everybody if you look at the uh, we didn't go to church to that church day. to Sunday we yeah. watched it on tv and so um everybody stood up when he said they're they're mad because i read their there's like i just read their numbers like i read that so it was like fuck are y'all talking about you know so it was crazy because he said literally his words were we have to he didn't say who to vote for he just said we have to vote these bums out is yep. what he said yep. right and so sylvester turner and it you know what I, what i thought was funny rob how they were trying to make it seem like um but basically in the article marissa they were like saying he better watch his mouth because we will call the irs mm -hmm. because you know how they get it you, taxes, yeah, taxes yeah. right yeah. and he's like but and then it kept going in the article. But he oh, didn't we don't want the IRS to start looking and and yeah, anybody. Right. Uh, shit. But I'm glad, Mister. What's his name? I'm glad you finished reading it though, because at the end they wrap it up with a. But at the end it's like, but he didn't say no names. He didn't say no party. He didn't tell you what to do. So he's probably good. So he's probably good, bitch. He didn't do any of it. Y'all just wanted to have a story, like. And but you know what I was curious about, Rob, is who sent it or who told. Like, how did he hear it? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not a yeah. member there, but I done got some insight about that man, and I, which I don't want to say on air. Okay, that good, I, good. My uncle told me about yesterday Ooh. by Mayor Turner. Mm. And what, a, what do you mean this? No. <laughs> mm, okay. No, about his crookedness. Mm, oh, honey. Because of the church that he attends, oh, they he had a little issue. Mm. And my uncle's family attends that church oh okay. so they got the inside no no scope. no this is gonna be a behind the only fans this is behind, link everybody it's like direct <laughs> all right guys join the patreon so you can get the next part of the day. <laughs> so you can get the next part of the of the uh the scoop bitch. But this will be the chat during the feet wine making this is yeah, on only exactly. fans this is only exactly what we're gonna be uh mm. talking about but yeah so anyway they got he got pissed and um and you know what's funny is that he's like he's not supposed <clears> to endorse or you know uh i guess uh what, what is it called? N not endorse. Uh, when, is it yeah, called? Endorse, endorse yeah. uh, a politician? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. He's like... Or a political party. party. Yeah. yeah. So he, he doesn't ever like... The, that's the problem is that they, they didn't have anything on him because he didn't say, go vote Republican. And there's not only Republicans in they that go church. go to church. Jesus So that's what I, as I said. I was telling Pete, I was like, you know what? When you're guilty mm. of bad doing, mm -hmm. it's what's the first thing you do? Yep. 
is you get on the defense, defense. you know, yep. you get defensive, and, bitch. And, and he's been involved in a lot of, like I said, I would, when I found out about the money, because that year we One of matched. us needs to research his history. Totally. And have a combo on I it. I know. I'm so down for that. I mean, let's do it. Let's make, let's it, a, let's make it a series. I want to do a series on uh, Lena and, and uh, Alex and the I'm whole, down. you know, I'm calling it Battle I'm for South Texas. I'm trying to get Alex it. on. Don's been doing a good job of mm -hmm. uh, trying to get her on, but her schedule's kind of busy. Mm -hmm. If we don't do that, I am going to try to get also Governor Abbott. Mm. Um, so hopefully he'd be willing to come on. Just zoom before, in. Zoom in before. Or maybe we can go to the Capitol. <laughs> oh, I just said we like I was going. Hey, <laughs> or his mansion. Oh, the governor's mansion. Yeah, governor's mansion. I mean, if Rogan did it, why can't Jingle Bling and oh I still do it? God. Yeah, he went there. Yeah, as soon as he moved, Governor Abbott had I him know, over. Oh, yeah. I love that. He took a picture and posted I, on Instagram. I was waiting for him to have the governor on his podcast. But I mean, he will because he has the mayor. Because I was thinking it was going to happen months ago. Yeah, but and then he not. said he'll never have Donald Trump on there. He said that, but, but I think he, would. man, bro, he says I would need ten hours. I wouldn't be able yeah. to do. It. Did you hear what oh, he yeah, said? Yeah, that? yeah, it's so funny. He's like, I wouldn't be able to do it, bro. I but I think. If there's anybody good to interview Donald Trump, it would be Joe Rogan. Yeah. Do y'all not think so? The thing is, Donald Trump can't really have very deep, substantive conversations. Not right now, he can't. I just, I don't know if he'd be I, I bet willing you, to, you know what I mean? But yeah. I think Joe Rogan would set him up because I feel he's so good at what he does. Like, he could just... Here, man, have a drink, have a cigar. You know what I'm saying? Because he makes you. Well, I don't know. I've never been. He breaks you drink. down, right? He, it's he like he kinda, makes you comfortable. He makes you comfortable. But he doesn't like drink or take any substances. Trump has never had a drink in his life. He doesn't consume any substances. What? Yeah. yeah. And on his party his only day? his only drug is pussy. Yeah, mm. pussy and diet coke. Pretty much. That's a good habit. I mean, I'm down for I'm that. I'm down for that too. I know. That's yeah. how I live my life. It's been yeah. good so far. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Grab drink, them bitches. Rob. I do drink a lot. Um, you drink. Um. So it's just too much. There's so too much I'm, going I'm, on. I would I love, love for him to have him on because I think that he would at least ask the right questions, even if even if he wouldn't know how to answer them. Right? Yeah. I still feel like he'd ask him the good questions to where everybody would honestly make, I think, an educated vote. I think we all three of us need to be sleep deprived I just, more I, often. Uh, right? <laughs> We're, We're all coming in hot. I'm just worried about this whole FBI thing because it's really crippling his chances. Now, he's going to get the Republican nomination. That's not an That's argument. That's a given, yeah. But now that all this FBI shit's gone down, we don't know if he's going to get the presidency. This is kind of what Biden was banking on. Everything being all about Trump. But you know, now he doesn't have to talk about gas. He doesn't have yeah. to talk about inflation. No, of course not. He doesn't what have to talk about Marissa. You tell me border. you're not. He doesn't have to talk about the fact that children are really suffering because they have lost um, two good years of education. Um, he doesn't have to talk about the hard shit. Nothing. Now all he has to do is talk about Trump and the fucking FBI. Mm -hmm. And so now where we thought it was going to be a red wave, it's not looking that good anymore. But wait. They haven't really found anything. No, yeah, and yesterday over the weekend, with the they they said that the those documents. The problem were is the inconsistency empty. in his story. I told you, if he's inconsistent, that's going to be a nail in his coffin each time. And but I'm wondering if he's inconsistent. And the story he can't has changed. Anything. The story has changed. It has, besides the FBI's. Yeah. Well, it, that's the that's the other thing is that you can't trust the FBI. Man, is They've that been not used crazy? as a tool. For wait, decades. But wait, is that not crazy that we can say, we say that when there were the one thing that was probably trusted, regardless of how crooked, they were the one that you could say. Agency-wise, probably. It depends on right? who you ask because mm. they have been responsible for many assassinations. But if you said like CIA, <clears throat> NSA, and then you're like FBI, you're like, oh, I mean, the FBI seems all right. Yeah. You know, they were always like the least most like criticized. Yeah, I feel they were the compared least Compared to the other yeah. ones. But here we are. And... And that speech, I bro, mean, if you delve deep into their history, they've been responsible. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, like the drug 
the the drug uh, well that was the cia yeah yeah, but i'm just saying like even stuff like that you know like it's they've always just they've been they've got things that they do that are good i guess but they've always been used as a political tool like a week after the raid there was a big story that came out that they had stopped this huge trafficking this uh, this child trafficking thing and i was just like you know it's kind of very cynical to think that like oh how convenient that this huge operation comes thank uh, you stopped it a week after the raid i'm glad that you're thinking like that because we need to yeah absolutely but but, but that's just it that's all they're doing they could stop child trafficking now there's missing children now and they have the intelligence you mean to these are organizations well-run organizations that funnel these children children through the u.s and through other countries and now you mean to tell me they don't know n- and and no they're acting like that's not happening the same thing with the drugs yeah oh with yeah the fentanyl coming over now they're making it look colorful and pretty did you oh, read yeah, about that, that. The, pool, yeah, yeah. the pills are oh looking, yeah yeah, yeah. They so look now like it's smarties. like smart yeah so now you know and it makes me mad that no one thinks that these things are happening or doesn't like don't, you're don't con- you're cons- immediately marked as a conspiracy yeah. theorist immediately. and you're in you know deemed as a dumbass so let me ask you, you guys this guy well, where's the skepticism gone the way i just said like i thought how convenient right that this happened a week after the raid where's american skepticism weren't you guys skeptic about stuff growing they're up they're busy on tiktok <laughs> and arguing on instagram and twitter that's, that's why our the TikTok fucking is problem. different from China's TikTok. That's <laughs> true. That's true. Jeez. Our TikTok's not the same. Their TikTok's educational. Our TikTok mm-hmm. is jump off of crates yeah. or or make Ursula videos. Yeah. You know? <laughs> uh, y'all got to watch. Uh, no, Trainwreck is about the 1999 Woodstock. Um, but there was a documentary about the McAfee guy who created the antivirus software. Oh, yeah. And oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. His his software was so like I don't know what to even call it because I don't know all that technical mm-hmm. shit. He was able to his software was able to spy on the FBI, the but CIA, he, he's, he's the mis- White House. He's hiding, right? He's, he's still in hiding. hiding. Potentially well, dead. There was a he had been sober for a very long time and managed to accomplish all these things. Mm-hmm. Somewhere in getting very rich because the the business is worth 14 billion mm-hmm. now but somewhere in between there when he managed to get all of this success um he fell off the wagon wait there's and, a netflix documentary yep, right and I, I just started watching that because all that you're saying is coming back yep to me. and so he fell off the wagon but right around that time is when he started to become hyper paranoid and started to tell people that the government was coming after him and they were trying to kill him he started to arm himself with all these weapons like it was like a snap of the fingers that he changed they're like oh he's just an alcoholic okay yes he fell off the wagon and started to drink and he lost his fucking mind but what what led to that is it because they were really coming after him Mm. if you could spy on the kgb and the white house and the cia and the fbi you don't think they're coming Mm -hmm. for you bitch Mm -hmm. and the two names that come up are the sinaloa cartel and the motherfucking clintons i knew it yeah yeah it is a clinton okay Okay, but kanye y'all see i'm confused wait before we get to kanye just i have to throw this in there i have an old business associate who we don't really talk anymore but he and his uh, other business associate used to frequent belize often and they had a place right next to john mcafee's Mm -hmm. in belize Mm -hmm. it was in belize because next thing you know he said they're trying to pin a murder on him yes yeah of his girlfriend or something right he escaped he went to another country place yeah another island he still has all his money yeah but next thing you know his neighbor ends up dead. Yep. And that's when he had to fucking bail. That's when they were he in He had Belize. to book it. Wow. And he's like, I didn't kill the motherfucker. They're trying to pin this, you know, this murder on me. But it didn't look good because he was already carrying all these weapons, doing a lot of drugs, drinking but a the lot of... Clintons come up in a lot. And the reason I say Kanye Somebody is needs to research that shit. No, I don't want to end up on the list. Because yes, this same. has been going on. There's been questionable death since he was a governor in Arkansas. Yeah. Like early nineties, right? Yes. Late 80s, early no, no, 90s? no. Like eighties, maybe. Yeah. No shit. I want to say maybe seventies. I don't fucking Jesus. know. Well, I, I, because Kanye on his last little rants that he just recently went on mm. and and or so forth said, uh, "You and your Clintons" or something like that. Oh, you're getting advice from the Clintons or something. You're not going to be getting advice from the Clintons and then raising my kids or some shit mm-hmm. like that because he was pissed and so he who was, was he talking about. 
Kim, Kim. Right? he's having issues with mm. Kim mm. because they don't. He don't want him to go to that that little school that they go to anymore. He's like, you're not about to. I don't know anything about this. They were sending it in the Discord all weekend long. What's mm. do you? Can you like tie it up? So in a basically, for us? I guess they're having an issue. I don't really know the all the issue is, but basically his his uh, post or his uh, I guess to post on social media were like, um, you know my kids will not be going there. My, my kids will not be victims of this. And supposedly I, and my daughter will not be doing playboy the way Chris mm. made you and uh, Kyle. Wow. Uh, I'm sorry, Kylie. Kylie. Um, you know what I'm saying? Do, uh, made, made y'all do playboy. It's like, my daughter would not be a part of that. The silver Lake woods, Lake something school that they go to this very high end school, I guess where all other celebrity children go to. They're like, they're not going to go there. You're not going to be putting my kids there and getting advice from the Clintons. Yep. So imagine that school with all those kids that have famous he ass need to, parents. He needs to pay physicists and social scientists and mathematicians to teach his children at home. Well, yeah. they, that's, he has that Donda school. Mm -hmm. And so he wants them to go to Donda. And so I guess Kim has a problem from, if you read like all the stuff, it must be a problem. And he was reposting their, their, um, their conversations. Those are real. I don't know. He says it said on there, please stop posting and stop talking about my mom. And, and then it's Chris's reply, I guess. And it's like it gives me anxiety. I'm and, almost seventy or some shit. Yeah, right? yeah. I'm super and it's old. like I'm, I'm not. I don't have time for this or something like that. And then when he said that she had diarrhea, she gets diarrhea more. Did more anybody often should should? He said that that wasn't him. That was somebody else that took his uh -huh, stuff. Damn it. So I don't know if it's true or not, but. Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of crazy. Um, and you know, again, I will say this again. It makes me so mad at myself for not caring about any of this in my past. Like, I still feel, to be honest with you, if I probably had no children, I wouldn't care about either party. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd just been mm -hmm. like, this is so, this fucking world's so you fucked You just up. vote every four yeah, years, and do I your little job. Them, and, yeah, yeah, I really feel like I'd be like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Fuck this shit. Um, I probably... If, like I, because the reason my business started to kind of funnel down was because Obama was taking money away from a lot of mm. programs, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And mine being one of them. And so when that started to happen, that's when he was going to run for a second term. And I was like, fuck this guy. I'm not voting for him, you know, because of him, my business is, is struggling right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the whole community is struggling, but you know, the deaf community is the least one to get talked about. You know what I'm saying? In the whole realm of, you know, black, white, whatever it is, you yeah, know what I'm they saying? They don't have enough representation. They don't have, they don't have it. And yeah. so, um, money was just kind of being taken taken away from them you know in and, and at times it makes me mad that they get free money just for being deaf because they can work but the the sad part is is that so many people are afraid to uh, hire a deaf person because they feel it's risky blah 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 yeah. blah that that's why they get money it's because but, no one wants to I hire them again what do we always say as long as our taxpayer dollars are be used or being used for something good i don't mind it if it if if there needs to be some kind of funding for the deaf community, then that's what we need to do because it's going to enrich these people. Don't we want them to be enriched? They're Americans. I'll be honest with you, though, it didn't do anything good for them. It it made them uh it gave them a crutch to be honest with you because mm -hmm. my job my job was to help them find work. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say all of them, but I'm going to say eighty five percent of them. Mm -hmm did not want a full-time job because they didn't want to lose their benefits because they were getting wow. that that good but of it's, money. But it's sad that their benefits are only given to them if they meet a certain threshold because then they have to make decisions like that. Do I want to lose my benefits or do I want to have a... No, but they get benefits, not medical benefits. I'm talking about the, the yeah. money they get every yeah, yeah. month. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They're making so much money off of that, yeah. they don't want to work. Yeah. And so that was the problem. My job was to help them find work, but they don't want to work because why they don't want to lose they? their benefits. They don't want to get that. They want to still get that check. And that's what I, even the older deaf, they have a problem with the younger deaf because yeah. they didn't have all that luxury. They yeah. had to get a job. They had to figure it out. They had to, um, basically all the rights that deaf people have, the younger generation have now is due to the older deaf yeah. who went through the whole, um, you know, trying to get the ADA act to go through, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get, you know, the right to have an interpreter at all times, you mm -hmm. know, all those things they fought for, you know, so they see the the newer generation as spoiled brats, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Because they didn't get 
any of that, yeah. you know? Um, I don't think it's beneficial to give them that. Um, a lot of them was not, a lot of them didn't use it. Um, a lot of them would just have kids to get more. Mm-hmm. And it was very obvious. Uh, I don't know if I ever told you the story about I had family come in. It was during the summertime. And I, we have books there for parents that came to look for jobs with their kids, right? And then all of a sudden, I don't see I don't see the parents anymore. And I see the four kids. Two of the one of the little boys, adorable. He had um, Down syndrome, but he was a higher functioning. But he was a baby. He's only like three. Mm-hmm. And so um, the other kids. And so one of them was like, um, "Hey, Miss Martinez, can I have this book? Because I really want to read this summer." He's like, "She's like, but I don't have no books at home." I said. Yeah, take as many as you want. You know what I'm saying? They were being donated anyway. So I was like, take as many as you want, of course. You know, if you want to read, how am I tell a kid no, you know? And then and then I look and I'm like, where'd your parents go? They're like, oh, they left. What? This is not a community center, bro. We're not your babysitter. They left. Now it's 6 p.m. It's time for everybody to go home. And they're still there. No, there's nobody there. So now I'm like going to the church and I'm like, hey, so they came I said, and now they're here, their parents left and they've not come back. What are we going to do? Obviously, no one wants to call CPS, right? Yeah. Because. And that's a whole other fucking you know, issue. But I felt so bad because the oldest daughter just said, oh, my parents do that does do do this all the time. Um, she's like, what did she say? She said something basically like, what day is it? And so it's like, oh, they got their check. So. They're probably going to be at their friend, this friend's house, or if they're, they're probably outside in the van doing drugs. Oh, wow. So I was like, what? I was like, why does she know this? She was 12. Deaf people do drugs? <laughs> I need to start hanging out with deaf people. <laughs> Look at Muddy Soul's face. Hey. She said, bitch. Well, uh, so we have about five more minutes on the public episode, and Marissa's doing the second one too, right? Yeah. You so are? I, I want to bring this up for the I last time. Okay. Yeah. For the last couple minutes. We have another hour, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Or more, you know, okay. you're good. Mm-hmm. Um, do you guys know, this is kind of random, but I want to do it on the public episode. This comedian, his name's Carlos. Um, I don't know. I don't know if he's part of the 85 South show or or what, but uh, he tweeted something out that Chingo had, uh, had um, retweeted because they posted it in our Discord. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Uh, he tweeted out this tweet right here. Uh, they always group in black and brown people together like black and brown people are out there making moves together. They don't fuck with us like that for real. Well, I'm sorry he sees it like that. I mean, I fucks with everybody. Mm-hmm. Bitch, I fucks with my blacks, my browns, my my fucking my whites. That's... <laughs> So Chingo retweeted and said, you have a ton of fans, uh, Latino fans, bro, down here in the age, trill, recognized trill. And one of the comments on Chingo's tweet, and this is the fucking people we got to deal with on a regular Ugh. basis. Um, you're the last, you're the last motherfucker to be talking. And then someone else below that goes on this. Having fans does not mean black Americans should ignore that our lived experiences uh, about our lived experiences and historical facts. Trump is a fan of many hip hop artists and it still practices white supremacy. Most races can. Why did you have to bring up Trump though? Uh, everybody does. Most races have the ability to compartmentalize uh, in order to enjoy black Americans music and sports. Chico said word salad, bro. These people have lost their goddamn give a fuck mind. About black music, bitch. All I want to know is where's the money. <laughs> That's all I want to know. Here's my only problem: is this. I don't know about you, but I have black friends. I have, the one thing I don't have enough of, maybe that I don't have enough, are Asian friends. You got like, Don. That's plenty. But she's oh yeah, you're right. One, but I don't <laughs> she have like box. Yeah. I don't have like a bunch of Asian friends. That's probably the one that I don't have a lot of, mm-hmm. but white for sure. Hispanic for sure. Black for sure. Like, you know, a, uh, let's the see. The Asians love me. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I just don't, I don't know why. Like I'm, I was just thought about that. That the was other. a senseless tweet. Like, uh, yeah. What was the purpose? Yeah. What well, was the was purpose? That, did that have to do with the Bank of America loan? Well, shit? I'm glad you brought it up. Cause that was next on the list. And since we have a few minutes, I wanted to get your thoughts. So everybody on the public episode can hear it. Marissa, do you have, cause we talked about real estate. We were, I was going to bring it up earlier, but we started getting on other good conversations. Do you guys have any input on this? Marissa, were you familiar with this? 2008 all over again. What is BOFA? Bank of America. Just launched a test of zero down payment 
Zero closing cost mortgages for minority communities. So only black and brown people can apply for these new loans from Bank of America. No closing costs, no down payment, no PMI even, which is only usually people that pay over 20% down payment get that's that ability. Fair. No, that's not fair. That should be based on e- e- economics. Like no, That th- should be based on money. Well, you know what that's going to do, Marissa? That What that's going to do is the same thing that happened a couple of years ago. Which, you know uh, uh, no, eight. That's what that's. Yeah. So basically what's going to happen is all these people are going to be able to have buy houses that they can't afford yeah now they're going to go to foreclosure they're setting them up for failure Bingo. exactly and now mm-hmm. people who can't afford them are going to buy these foreclosures and now it's, the wealthy get the wealthier, wealthy get wealthier. Yeah. this um, is how it happens but that's the thing though is that people don't realize it and they're like they think this is wonderful like oh my god this is you know this is so great for us you know what i'm saying who no yeah and you have a lot of these like you know uh, not to just call them out specifically but like black only kind of twitter you know that's mm-hmm. like you know good job bank of america like every bank should be doing more of this and it's like ah do all the details really work out for the black and brown community if you look into it anything that they ever are going to do is going to benefit their bottom line yeah so right now it looks pretty but i need to know what the inner workings are because somehow they always come up on top these big banks. Well, they are. That's Every that's time. what's gonna that's what's gonna happen. Yeah. They're gonna have all these foreclosed homes, and now they're just gonna sell them out. I mean, that's what happened in 08, You know, they, and they're only starting it in certain areas. So, Big America's test plan is rolling out in Los Angeles, Dallas, Detroit, and Charlotte, and aimed at predominantly minority neighborhoods in those cities. So, you also have to you can only buy in certain neighborhoods. You can only buy you know if you have a certain income or whatever. Uh, it offers loans to minority buyers only, without the need for down payment, closing, no private mortgage insurance, uh, and no private. Yeah, so no PMI, no PMI. What? at all. Um, yeah. Wow. Who? But if you can't, I mean, you can't afford the down payment. You can't afford to pay PMI on it. And the interest rates, interest rates are so inflated right now. Who's going to be able to hang on to these houses for more than a couple of years? No, if that, if that setup. long. It's a setup. For it's sure, setup. it is. And it's so And then sad. the banks will be bailed out again. They're going to be like, see, nobody paid their mortgages. Give me another $700 billion and then, um, to bail them out. And then it's a whole cycle again, you All know, over. This gotta break happened. the cycles, this man. Happened. But people don't, that's just the thing. Like I have a problem with, okay, here's the thing. I have a small problem with, uh, people who are on food stamps. Right. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I still feel there needs to be rules, like some kind of like, let's check up on them. How are they doing it? Whether it be on a, every six months, every year, mm-hmm. People who give like got to be actively working. Yes, like um, now I don't know about the drug test because bitches need to smoke. Weed. I know, but see, I don't think <laughs> I don't feel you know. Weed let a bitch smoke some weed, bitch, in the drug category for me. So if I were like a caseworker and you came out positive for weed, I just, I mean, if you're crack. If you're cocaine, coking, that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's like, you let a bitch get by with so, you know yeah. a whole day with kids and shit yeah. working, or, or even if they're microdosing, you if they got a little bit of shrooms. Yeah, shrooms, yeah. yeah. There's no, just certain- if you start doing cocaine, bitch, and fentanyl, you're off the program. <laughs> you got LSD, yeah. you know, you're asking all this it other up. shit. I don't know about yeah. that. Oh, that, come on, see, it's a slippery you slope. Need, you need to be able to have a little bit of LSD in your life, y'all. I'm a better Christ. person because of it. She claims, <laughs> bro, I could never do that again. I did it once, and it was I'm done. I'm done, son, forever. I chip my tooth. <laughs> so. Why did you chip a tooth? Because I have an overbite and you clenched. I had my I got my overbite stuck on the in inside of my bottom teeth. Like your jaw locked? No. Oh. All I did was put it on the inside. I and I got I got scared that I couldn't unlock it, and so I just pushed forward. <gasps> oh my god! I my, all I had to do was open my mouth like this, <laughs> and I would have been fine. <laughs> And that, ladies I and gentlemen, is why we don't bitch. let our kids do drugs. Damn. Oh my god! Anyway, so I got scared. Yeah, but I just feel there needs to be some kind of like there. Yes, you Amen. need to encourage. Hallelujah. Like you need to encourage. Like I'm I down. Agree. Like we're gonna help you. Yep. We're not saying like don't help. I think we can. We all need a little bit mm, of help. Hallelujah. You know. So I think there needs to be help. Like there should be some kind of social program, right? Yeah. But it needs to end. Like, bitch, you've been helped already for yeah. I don't know, however long. That's my question. How long does Let's the crutch go. last? How long does the crutch last? That's but the thing is, is there's not enough caseworkers to be checking up on these people. So you can't go do home. Well, visits. you can find that out with the census. Because for the most part, people fill out the census and you can get all the raw data you want to break down whatever you want. And for the when I did that back in 2012, it was a four the to census s- or the, the case census, worker? Oh. the census, because it's going to ask you if you're on food yeah. stamps mm-hmm. and w- mm-hmm. it's going to know all of that. 
And uh, it was four to six years. And a lot of these people ended up with a higher education degree after they were done using yeah, so see, financial that's why, assistance. I don't know that you could you should be on it for four years, but there's got yeah. somebody needs to do research on like, okay, if you're if you make this much a year, you need to be at this part for by this so that you can get off by this time. Does that make yeah. sense? Like you have got to work towards this goal. Yeah, there's got to so be that there's an end fundings goal. again for the next person who needs it Amen. versus like. We just keep giving and giving and tax dollars and tax dollars and tax dollars. And then you just really don't ever see it. Listen, the biggest problem is the tax dollars not being used where they're supposed to be used. Mm, hello. So preach. That's why you have kids who think preach, that it's, I'm going to grow up to be a, a drug dealer because the money that's supposed to be used in these, you know, improv, uh, Impoverished. in poverty, um, <laughs> improv, <laughs> I know, uh, Impoverished. in poverty, uh, communities, don't the money doesn't get used yep. same goes for the schools and it gets put in the mayor's pockets exactly so that's the why city he's allegedly, in pockets. allegedly and you that's know why he saying? gets mad that you call you know him what i'm out. saying because this should be his hood mm. that he tries to fix fifth ward should be his hood Hello. he should try to fix right no nah, like jay-z said i try to get out of here i'm not trying to come back and fix mm. this damn damn <laughs> Get it, bitch. Gosh, I didn't even. That kind of <laughs> oh, hit. Oh, oh, it did. I was like, damn. Like, I'm trying to get out. I'm not trying mm. to come back and fix this. The one thing I always said that I like, um, I have to find this little journal that I used to have, like things that I would like to do to help, you know, my community. You know, I, I'll, I'll have to go to my mom's oh, house. So I know I it was stupid. That. I know it was really silly of me, but this was my way to save the world, right? What Somebody had get, one of them was that I wanted to go be a volunteer at predominantly like Hispanic elementary schools because mm-hmm. that's where it has to start. It can't be further up. It has to start there. Yeah. These moms that are stay at home moms, right? To educate them. And listen, it is important for you to learn English. Like, don't yeah. feel like that's not a good thing to learn. Even if it's mocho, it doesn't matter. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. A very minimal so that you can fight back. Yep. So that you can say, no, bitch, you're not going to do this. Whether it be yeah. to you, to your kids, whatever it is. So that you have a way to communicate. And you're like, well, it's because... Are we going to pause this or are we going to keep going, by the way? Oh, you we, can it? we can pause it. Pause, pause it? it? Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's wrap right. it up here before we go too long. I want, I want Marissa to be here for the second episode, too. And then we'll talk about m- poor Mexican moms or poor moms and then... <laughs> How we help them. How Marisol helps them. Yes, there you go. Thank you guys for listening. We'll see y'all Friday.